Hello friend, welcome back to this session. In the last video, we have configured the RDS uh, remote desktop session, uh, but the configuration was not completed properly. So it was uh, so that's the reason we have paused the video. Now uh, the the configuration has been done, I think, and it has been restarted also. Let launch the server, and do not forget to subscribe my channel. So here I just uh, give the my lab. It's my domain and uh, username administrator why i'm using its test environment but in production environment the user it should be different it should not be used the uh, administrator for the security perspective uh, okay i'm logged in now let's see what is happening Why I'm giving the name of RDS because I'm giving uh, you know configure RDS so I make this over is RDS that's the reason I'm giving no uh, no worries about why I give the RDS name here so no worries because the same day because it's ADC server um, there is a ADC server is there and this is the additional domain control that's what I given the ADC so as for my the name convenience uh, that's why I given okay so it's open now server manager it is refreshing if you look at your it is refreshing still it's not complete loaded let's wait for few seconds so it might be loaded yep it will load yeah if you look at your remote desktop license mode is not configured yet it is telling this is what the icon it's not configured yet okay this what are the roles have been installed here that will come come over here uh, still it is refreshing see still it is refreshing yeah yeah if you look at here there is icon came here that remote desktop services this is the console if you go here and overview server connecting to rd connection broker server if you go to the server here no right so what we will do here yeah, remote desktop services go to the server okay and go to the task here setting performance counter not started not activated it's online Let's refresh it create deployment run the Add roles of a feature visa, select the remote desktop service installation process. Okay. So what we will do here? Go to the task, add role and feature. And that has been done, right? Remote desktop we have selected. Yeah. Now we need to uh, configure the RD broker, RD connection broker here. On this server, we just install the services. Like if you look at here, it is the my server, correct? It's FS uh, hyphen zero one. It's my server. I want to install here only. So there are two options here. I just select here and the quick start. <coughs> Click the next. Why it is telling the no server has been selected it has been selected right okay click the next let's see and the session based click next okay click the next Yeah, we have to wait for some time. Yeah, 
it is telling like it has been installed so probably it is the same thing it is asking okay let's restart again i mean it will restart see the destination is probably fh01mylab.com Yeah, it is installing properly now. So till that time we need to wait and see what is happening here. And these three roles need to be configured. And the last time also it is done, but uh, due to some, you know, I, I don't know why it is happen again. It asked might be some, you know, problem or it might be required the restore the server i i didn't restart that's the reason maybe not installed properly so now the installation process started and first it's a remote desktop service role so uh, services role services uh, is configuring it step by step will be complete uh, so we need to wait few and a few minutes i think it will take depending upon your server performance and as well as the network speed also yeah it's in for succeed now the second has been started taxation collection okay Yeah, second also completed successfully. So that remote our program now it is installing. Okay. Yeah, that is also succeed or uh, succeed done. Show. This is what connect to RD web access for the accessing this thing. Okay, I'm just close it. Once you close, if you look at any um, notification here, if if any not yeah notification came, see look at refresh server completed correct. So restarts are also not required because it first time it is already restarted. That's the reason it is not required to start. But here now what I will do, we will go to here remote desktop. If you look at it now, the proper page has been came here. And go to the overview. In the overview, if you look at here, deployment overview, you can see the RD web access, RD gateway, RD licensing, RD connection broker, RD session host, RD virtualization host. These things are here. So what we will perform here, if you go to the task and edit deployment properties, if you look at here, if you go to the certificate, so these are the RE connection broker enabling uh, like uh, single sign in configured RE connection broker publishing and web access. Um, you need to configure the certificate. Uh, okay, it is very important when type of authentication you required. Okay, and uh, for the security perspective, it's required the certificate. If you have the existing certificate, you can select here and import here. You don't have the existing certificate, then you have to be create the new certificate here. So for that you need to give the name like i can give like my name uh, it's a name is mylove.com okay and the password i can put it it's a test correct okay i can give the path where the certificate will be stored uh and desktop uh in this pc go to the desktop uh, here I can create one folder SSL CRT okay in this folder my certificate will be stored I give the name it's a mylab.com correct no it's uh, not the correct name I think so what I will do mylab or we can put it like test Store the certificate. Oh, let's just, just let me cancel here. I don't want store. Allow certificate to add trusted certificate directly. You can add over here also. Press OK. 
so now if you look at here the i think certificate uh, so these are two option has been disabled because the certificates has been um, imported here so for the configuration what you will do you just click over here current deployment certificate level is not configured on single sign-in server is configured okay okay this has been configured you can apply it so you need to wait uh, for this uh, uh, configuration once it's done we will go for second and third also let's wait for some time okay so now we are configuring the single sign-on if you look at here first option enable single sign-on and uh, thanks for watching this video we will uh, configure the second option a uh, second part in the and uh, the third video and in the next video uh, thanks for watching we will see you on the next video